This is Sean Garrison, online editor of Cornell and Cordell and DadsDivorce.com. Today we are joined by Miami family law attorney Christina Lapadula. Ms. Lapadula will discuss an alimony overhaul that is currently being considered by lawmakers in Florida. Alimony reform has long been a hot button topic in the state, but a recent proposal by House Rules Chairman Rich Workman has so far garnered bipartisan support. Thank you for joining us today, Christina. How are you doing this afternoon? I'm doing very well. Thank you for having me. Christina, can you start by giving us a brief overview of the alimony reform debate in Florida and what are seen as the biggest flaws in the state's current statutes? Well, there's been talk for a while now about reforming the statutes. I think most, if not everyone, would agree that um, the, the current statutes are um, outdated. We live in a different world now and um, our economy has certainly changed. Uh, most households today have both spouses bringing in um, a solid income and the women are also earning higher incomes than the men in certain circumstances. In 2013, there was controversial legislation that was proposed to uh, Governor Rick Scott and uh, this legislation was ultimately vetoed. Um, the reason being was that there was uh, a retroactive application in the legislation that would have allowed for cases to be reopened and in some, in some circumstances for to, uh, the alimony that was awarded previously to be terminated. The biggest flaw basically as with the alimony laws as they currently stand are that um, they don't reflect our current social and economical state. Um, they are very old-fashioned stereotypes that still dominate and control the decisions in the family courtroom. Um, that old-fashioned stereotype is that the man is the main supporter of the family and he must continue to support the family. In addition, those that are making alimony payments find it hard to retire because they have to go back and revisit uh, the alimony that was awarded and they have to go back to the court and ask the court for it to be lowered. In some circumstances, it may not be lowered or it is lowered insignificantly. Um, and these are people that are in their 70s and 80s and they are living sometimes entirely on Social Security. A lot of proponents for this alimony reform believe that, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are taking advantage of the system and um, they want for their other spouse to continue to support them in the future. Yeah, absolutely. And now this has been a hot button topic in Florida for years, but the recent proposal from House Rules Chairman Rich Workman has at least so far garnered support from both sides of the aisle. That includes the backing of both the Florida Bar Family Law Section and the Floridians for alimony reform. What about this current plan has enabled it to garner such uh, support from both sides where proposals in the past have generated such debate? Well, I think that the proponents have really worked out some of the issues that were presented with the legislation back in 2013. Um, they're still focused on doing away with permanent alimony, but they've realized that there are some spouses out there that still need support after divorce. Um, although it's not finalized, it's been said to include some of the following. Um, it will not have a retroactive application. That was one of the main reasons it was vetoed. Uh, back in 2013. Um, it will give judges uh, discretion in certain circumstances to uh, award permanent alimony if needed. Um, although the current alimony statutes allow for reduction or an elimination of alimony if there's proof of cohabitation or a supportive relationship, under the proposed changes, um, those who are caught lying would have to return uh, the amount of alimony they received when they were accused, since being accused. Um, in addition, uh, if, a, if the payer of alimony uh, ends up receiving an increase in income further down the line, uh, the other spouse, the recipient of alimony, will not be able to receive an increase in alimony due to that other spouse receiving an increase in their uh, income. In addition, uh, alimony payments may be reduced when the payer reaches the age of 62. 
um, in some circumstances they are about to retire and they you know want the alimony to be reduced or terminated so at the age of 62 it would allow, allow the payer to uh, reduce the payments definitely now this proposal would utilize a formula that has been described as child support esque can you tell us what that means and why lawmakers would want to mirror uh, the child support formula in regards to alimony laws? Well, as I said before, they're still working on the exact provisions, but um, it's been said to take into consideration uh, the income of both spouses and the length of the marriage. Uh, it's kind of like a, it's a guideline, um, a chart basically, if, if nobody has ever seen it. Um, it gives a start and end date to alimony, and it, w it gives you an idea of what your alimony would be. Um, the guidelines provide certainty, uh, those that have been used for child support, and um, I think that's why the proponents have steered towards using the guidelines for alimony. Um, they've been proven to be very helpful and effective for child support, and there's far less litigation uh, in awarding child support when there's been use of the guidelines. It's fair. Definitely. Are there any other points about this alimony bill that you haven't mentioned that you feel could substantially improve Florida's alimony laws? No, not exactly. I mean, there's been no indication on what exactly uh, is going to happen with this proposed legislation, whether it's going to be vetoed or not. But um, many are hopeful that it's going to pass this time around. and it's mainly because they've tried to deal with the actual issues that were present before and why it was why there was so much contention with it and they've tried to work together with both sides to come to a workable resolution for both so they're hopeful that it's going to pass this time thank you for joining us today christina we enjoyed having you here on dad's divorce live thank you for having me that was cordell and cordell family law attorney christina lapadula to read more about alimony reform in Florida and across the nation, be sure to visit dadsdivorce.com. This has been Sean Garrison, online editor of Cordell & Cordell and dadsdivorce.com. Thank you for watching Dad's Divorce Live.